Good evening. My life today for August 2nd. The reading is entitled, Be Zealous of Good Works. The scripture reading is taken from Titus 2 verse 14. Who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity, and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Christ's followers have been redeemed for service. Our Lord teaches that the true object of life is ministry. Christ himself was a worker, and to all his followers he gives the law of service, service to God and to their fellow men. Here Christ has presented to the world a higher conception of life than they had ever known. By living to minister for others, man is brought into connection with Christ. The law of service becomes the connecting link which binds us to God and to our fellow men. To his servants, Christ commits his goods, something to be put to use for him. He gives to every man his work. Each has his place in the eternal plan of heaven. Each is to work in cooperation with Christ for the salvation of souls. Not more surely is the place prepared for us in the heavenly mansion than is the special place designated on earth where we are to work for God. And those who would be workers together with God must strive for perfection of every organ of the body and quality of the mind. True education is the preparation of the physical, mental, and moral powers for the performance of every duty. It is the training of body, mind, and soul for divine service. Of every Christian, the Lord requires growth in efficiency and capability in every line. Christ has paid us our wages, even his own blood and suffering, to secure our willing service. He came to our world to give us an example of how we should work and what spirit we should bring into our labor. He desires us to show how we can best advance his work and glorify his name in the world, crowning with honor, with the greatest love and devotion, the Father who so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you for listening. God bless you.